Hi, this is Ed Duclo, Tech Content Coach, South Windsor School District. This video is going to show you how to use the originality report in Google Classroom. This feature was introduced in 2019. We were excited about it, but then found out that you can only use the tool three times in deleting an assignment or something along those lines. There was no workaround. Well, now that we are part of the G Suite for Education enterprise, we now have unlimited use of this. So we're back to being excited about it. So this has everything to do with academic integrity, plus it has a nice teaching tool to it. So what I'm going to go into my classrooms, Google Classroom, and I am going to create an assignment, go to classwork, create an assignment. So this is just going to be testing. And Okay, so I've got a draft, and then I've already preset something for Google Drive, and I just assign that, and then I come down here and make a copy for each student. All right, so I'm good to go. I put in anything that I want there, and the important thing now is to click the check plagiarism. That's the originality report. Now, what used to come up would be a sign that says that you have two um, assignments left, something along those lines, but now you see that we don't see it anymore. So when I come in and I assign that, I'll just schedule it now so don't freak out my yearbook students, and it's good to go. All right, now, the way originality reports work is that when I get this back from the student, the student has turned it back in through Google Classroom, I can see that up in the corner, it will tell me how many flagged passages. That means that it's unoriginal, okay? I, the student took it from some place. So that's something that's really key. Now, the, the part that I like about it, it's not just a gotcha. All right, first of all, before I get to the student perspective, from the teacher, the um, originality report looks at everything on the web and then tries to find out where it came from. They do have a peer-to-peer -peer feature, which basically says, all right, within your domain, are you know students, are they taking from one another? Now, that's in beta form right now. We'll need to get more information on that. Obviously, that's pretty key. Down here, you'll see the student side of it. So, um, in the student perspective, before the student turns it in, can go the student can go ahead and run a check basically can do this three times and it will tell the student look you're 75 percent original and then we'll show the three or four passages whatever it might be that are from another source and the student then can come down to the paper and can edit can change those now the teacher never sees that but as far as I'm concerned, that's fine. I mean, the student's like, oh, okay, this is ridiculous. I've got to change this. Has three opportunities to run it, and it will actually even tell where the source came from. Now, once the student goes ahead and turns it in, then we can find out where those flag pa passages came from. So the student has the opportunity, but if they pass on that, it comes to us. Original reports in Google Classroom, it's unlimited for us now. And I think it's a wonderful tool for us to start using on a regular basis just to ensure that academic integrity that we want, right? Hopefully this has been helpful. Have a fantastic day.